Hey guys, it's that time of the year again. It's Halloween coming up, so I wanted to do a Halloween journal. I've actually been planning this for weeks, and I just finally got it done. Um, started it yesterday, finished it today. Um, so I had everything ready and pretty much cut out. Uh, it's a kit from Creative Fabrica and uh, from a shop called Emily Design. She has tons of beautiful kits of all different themes and everything. And this was one of them. So when I found it, I knew I had to download it. And because I have a subscription to Creative Fabrica, or my link will be down below, and I'll link for this too for her shop. So you can check it out, or you can check out any of her others. She also has an Amazon shop that um, she actually sells a lot of the same kits in there as books that you can get from there too but yeah so I wanted to do I was actually gonna do the whole like tutorial on camera with you guys but I could not figure out what I wanted to do like I said I've already had this all pretty much ready for a couple weeks now and every time I would sit down to film I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do so I actually this is actually this here is actually a brown paper bag because um, as I say in every video, I have like a ton of brown paper bags, so I use them a lot for projects. And so I just used it as, and then just matted it with the paper from the kit. And so this is the cover, just like cool looking skeleton with the witch's broom. It says Halloween is here and October 31st, and then it says trick or treat. And then I added a little pocket on the front so I could put this cute little black cat in there thought that was super fun and it's just a folio that just fold out like that and I have a, a little journal in here that I put in just with some elastic I didn't um, bind it or anything it's just in there like that so it's just a small little journal to write in so you can write anywhere um, I added some coffee dyed paper to some of the pages that didn't have much writing space on them and this one here had like a scary picture that I didn't like, so I covered it. Uh, this one I had didn't want to cover the pretty flowers, so I put some coffee dyed paper. So yeah, just a small little writing journal. Did the corners, it didn't come off. <laughs> yeah, so there's a small little writing journal, just tucks in right there. And then on this side, we got just tons of pockets everywhere on this journal, like little tuck spots and like little hidden spaces for writing spots. So this one here is like an envelope that came with the, the journal here. And I put all these were these here all over the place were um, just like a sheet that she had with a bunch of Halloween you know, quotes and stuff or sayings. Um, it says creepy critters. And I accident accidentally ripped the envelope when I was scoring it. So I just added some vintage tape to kind of, you know, close it or to prevent it from ripping. And then I added a piece of um, coffee dyed paper that I used a piece of cardboard like this to add lines. So they're really rustic. So that's a little tuck spot there for that. Then another pocket that says ghouls and goblins. Um, and then it's got the definition for spider web. Another tuck spot for some more journaling pages. Um, it didn't add lines to these ones, but you can journal however you want, like that or like that. Totally up to you. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this journal yet, but <laughs> as I said in my last video, I'm thinking of setting up a little shop to sell stuff like the journals like this when I make something. Cause like anything from Creative Fabrica is commercial free, so I can sell it if I want. But yeah, there's a pocket here that I just used the pages from the journal um, to create little pockets. And there's a little tag that says scary and I added an eyelet with some twine. I think that's what this stuff is called. <laughs> and then this one here says boo. I thought that was cute when you open it up, it says boo. <laughs> Um, and then some more just little pretty, you know, images of red roses, some book pages that I downloaded. They're not from the kit. I got downloaded those from somewhere else and that's coming up. I'll fix that later. <laughs> and then on this side, so I got another pocket here that I added some backing onto and then tucked it in underneath the paper, glued it down and added a pocket to it and then added a little journaling card there so you can write on and some just some more sayings that she had in there 
like looks like they're like torn. Um, it says things that go bump in the night, and then there's another pocket with Edgar Edgar Allan Poe, and some more book pages. And one says Halloween is here, and then there's a movie list, little ticket inside. Another pocket here on this flap with another tag. And it says Grim Reaper. And this one here on this side is another, another black cat. Hold on to your broomsticks. I just love this whole kit. It was so cute. I tried to use as much as I could <laughs> in there. So um, this one here, another pocket with a skeleton. Um, more book pages, trick or treat. Little sign that says trick or treat. Um, another tag. And then another pocket or another flap here with a little pocket that I created. And then this one here says believe in magic. And it has a, the definition for spell. The sequence of words used to perform magic. <laughs> I thought that was super cute. And this one here I didn't have anything to back it with so I just stay, um, I just, <coughs> excuse me, what's it, uh, inked it. Geez, I can't think. Get in there. And that just folds down like that. Should have moved this over a little more, but I have to kind of press it down to get it to close. And then some more pockets on the back, or in the flap here, with some more journaling space. Another black cat. Another tag that says spooky. Did I say anything about this? Yeah, I did. Okay. <laughs> little pocket. Perfect night to give a fright on that side there. And just pulls up like that. Oops. Oh, it's supposed to go like... Ah! It's supposed to go like that, but I actually like it better like this. <laughs> yeah, I like it better like that. Well, it was actually supposed to close like that. I didn't mess it up. I just like it better like that. Because <laughs> it's covering up the cover if I do that. And then on the back, there's another pocket. And I used another page from the... Like the, it comes with pages that are like this one here, but they're bigger, I like journaling pages to create a little journal. Um, but I used a lot of them to use for pockets and stuff. Like these ones, the flowers are just gorgeous. And the paper, this paper here is actually one that I ordered from Amazon and it, that's, the colors are super vibrant. They're beautiful. I actually forgot to ink that one. <laughs> I might round the corners on this one, but yeah, there's another journaling spot. I just backed two pages, one with the black cat, and then with the broom. But yeah, there's a journaling spots everywhere on this journal, and I had it tied like this, so let's put the journal back in. I might end up binding the journal. But yeah, there it is. I like it. It's super cute. It was super fun to do when I finally got the inspiration to figure out what I wanted to do. It just started flowing and I just couldn't stop. <laughs> um, so I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope you guys um, get some inspiration for your own junk journal, like Halloween junk journals. I'll link down below the, this kit and her shop and then I'll add her Amazon shop too and she also has a YouTube channel that she actually has a kit uh, video that she did a tutorial on this. I didn't follow hers. I did my own, but she has a tutorial that she did. Um, so I'll link all of that stuff down below for you. Go check out her shop. Like I said, she has tons of beautiful um, junk journal kits, not just or like whatever theme you want. She has a lot of different themes and they're just beautiful. So go check that out. I hope you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And let me know if there's any other type of videos you'd like me to do. I'm always looking for ideas. So let me know. And I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye guys.